Your child can receive a letter from Santa or Frosty this Christmas. We'll have the details next. Also on the broadcast, we'll have your Indian sports recap from the start of the winter season. All this and more coming up on KFOI Weekly News. Hello everyone, thank you for joining us on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T UVerse Channel 99 and the NFHS Network. I'm Cassandra Ritchie. And I'm Kelsey Stobart and here are this week's news, upcoming events and announcements for the Fort Osage School District. Project Graduation is taking orders to send your child a letter from Santa or Frosty. The cost is $3 for one letter or $5 for two letters. Orders are accepted at any district elementary school office with the payment by December 9th. Checks are made out to Project Grad. Forms are available by visiting the elementary school offices or visiting photosage.net, selecting the district drop-down menu and clicking on the virtual backpack link. Letters will be mailed by December 14th to assure the arrival prior to Christmas. For more information, call Sasha at 816-805-4815. Link giving trees are now up in the front hall of each of the district schools. If you would like to adopt a child for Christmas in the Fort Osage community, you can come take a tag from the tree and go shopping. Gifts should be valued at approximately $25. Return unwrapped gifts, gifts by December 9th. The ag science classes from the CTC are growing poinsettias in the school's greenhouse. Poinsettias make for great gifts for coworkers, hostesses, family, and friends. This is a class project and fundraiser, so all profits go to the FFA chapter and supplement our greenhouse facility budget. Plants range in price from six to sixteen dollars to reserve your plants. Contact Miss Lynch Miss Lynch Taylor at T Lynch at Fortosage.net or call 816-650-7242. Walk-in sales are welcome as long as supplies last. The speech and debate team needs your help. They are in need of smaller size professional business dress clothes for their team. If you have any suit jackets, slacks, skirts, dress shirts, leather, shoe, leather dress shoes, leather belts, and or ties that are on the smaller end of the size spectrum, they would appreciate your donation. Contact Mr. Bobby Phelps at bphelps at fortosage.net for more information. We'll be right back with more news from around the district after this message. Toscanos is the best place to get an upscale Italian dining experience with a hometown feel. Start out with enjoying delicious warm bread while the cooks prepare your entree to be served to you fresh. Toscanos offers a vast menu of pizzas, pastas, salads, and more. They offer carryout and can cater to any event. Let Kirk and John give you a taste of Little Italy at Toscanos, located at 312 South Hudson Street in Buckner. The high school men's choir is in the top eight high school choir buying for the chance to win $5,000 and the 99.7 The Point Christmas Choir radio competition, but they need your help. Text INDIANS to 72881 as many times as you can until Sunday, December 4th. The top four choirs will be announced on Monday, December 5th. If Fort makes it to the top four, then text as many times as possible from December 5th to December, December 9th. The winner will be announced on Saturday, December 10th. The first place winner receives $5,000, so text often. The high school choir department is raising funds by caroling this holiday season. You can hire them for $25 for two songs or have them carol at your business for 30 minutes at the cost of $100. Contact Choir Director Julie Ammons at jammons at fortosage.net or calling her at 816-650-7059. Want a night off to go shopping, to go shopping kid-free? Elm Grove PTA is hosting a holiday parents' night out. This event is for kindergarten through sixth graders on Friday, December 9th from 6 to 9 p.m. The cost is $5 per child and includes pizza and a drink, coloring activities, and the movie Polar Express. Forms are available by visiting fortosage.net, selecting the district drop-down menu, and clicking on the virtual backpack link. Do you own a business? Are you interested in getting more foot traffic, 
through your store. Fort Osage Adult Education is looking for business to host a class for us. We handle all the enrollment you teach your you teach your skill craft or share the knowledge that you as a business owner possess. If you want more information call 816-650-7183. We are also seeking talented or knowledgeable people who have a passion for sharing what they know and can do with others. We love to have new classes that will interest the public and benefit our community. We'll have this past week's sports report after these messages from our sponsors. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Hey everybody, I'm Rihanna Reeve with this week's Careful Eye Sports Recap. The girls varsity basketball team lost to Smithville 54-25 in the opening round of the Winnetonka tournament. Cameron Miller led the Indians with 6 points, followed by Alicia Monday's 5 points. The girls varsity basketball team lost to Pembroke Hill 56-35 in the second round of the Winnetonka tournament, November 29th. Haley Chase led the Indians with 12 points. Ardesia Finner and Alicia Mondays each added six points. The varsity wrestling team started their season November 29th with a 54-26 dual loss to Liberty. The Indians were led by Nick Wiley and Josh Shreeks pins and Elias Valuefi and Colin Divers technical falls. Roman Tinoco also came up with a 15-3 major decision victory. I'll be right back with more sports information after these messages from the NFHS Network. It's hard to get to everything we have going on here. I mean, this high school has so much. And now you're offering the ability to watch those events without having to travel there. My dad travels a lot, so he likes to watch the events. Like if I'm playing a volleyball game and he can't make it, um, he'll watch it and he loves it. I think it was homecoming, it was Friday night, and um, it was a punt return, and I returned it all the way back for a touchdown. And of course, I showed all my family members, and they, they really liked it. They, they liked to see what their family members can do. Golden Lions. I think this broadcast is essential because uh, uh, our team is global, and we got people all over the world going to watch the game. So without this, there is no way they can do that. These kids and these players feel loved. They feel important. And by broadcasting it, you have a bigger group that you're reaching that allows them to know those kids. Welcome back. Allison Shoemaker found out the Winter Activities Assembly last month that she will be the 2017 win for Casey Lockton Company's Resiliency Award recipient. The award is presented to a local woman or girl who d demonstrates the ability to redefine barriers despite physical or mental challenges through her participation in sports or has overcome tremendous obstacles to make a comeback in life in sports. Allison will receive the honor on February 1st at the annual win for Casey Recognition Ceremony. Also at the Winter Activities Assembly, Allie Barrett and Josh Merrithew found out they were the two Wendy's High School Hisman Award winners for the school. Allie and Josh represent the most esteemed high school scholar athletes who share Wendy's values of giving back to their community, treating people with respect, continuing education, and excel excelling on the athletic field. The award honors high school students who excel not only in those areas but also in academics. Athletes and student, student leadership both move on to the state level to compete for the scholarship the program offers to gra graduating seniors. Catch live Fort Osage High School sports coverage on KFOI Sports broadcasting on the NFHS network. Viewers can purchase a pay, pre pay preview monthly pass for $99 $9.95 or a yearly pass for $49.95. Visit nfhsnetwork.com and search for Fort Osage High School. There you will find upcoming live events. The next live KFY Sports broadcast will be the girls varsity basketball game between the Indians and the Platte County Pirates on Thursday, December 8th. Coverage starts at 6.45 p.m. with a tip-off schedule for 7. 
Catch all the action at NFHS, nfhsnetwork.com. That's all for your sports recap. I'm Brianna Reeve. Thanks, Brianna. If you have Fort Osage news and announcements you would like to have share on the KFY Weekly News, let us know. Contact Broadcasting Advisor Benjamin Merrithew at bmerrithew at fortosage.net or Fort Osage PR Director Stephanie Smith at smith at fortosage.net. Catch all the latest high school news announcements and sports results on KFY Daily News, Fort Osage High School's TV broadcast airing each day during the school. Visit nfhsnetwork.com and search Fort Osage High School. Not only will you find KFOI daily news, but videos on demand of past sporting events. Well, that's all we have for you this week. I'm Cassandra Ritchie. And I'm Kelsey Stobart. Thanks for watching us on Comcast Channel 15, AT&T Channel 99, and the NFHS Network. Have a great day.